السلام عليكم hello everybody today our video is about heterotopic pregnancy definition heterotopic pregnancy is defined as the presence of multiple gestations with one present in the uterine cavity and the other outside the uterus the most common ectopic site is the fallopian tube and uncommon implantation sites include the cervix, ovary, caesarean section scar, or even the abdomen. Some cases of triplet or quadriplet of heterotopic pregnancy have been reported. Incidence The incidence of heterotopic pregnancy is around 1 to 30,000 in spontaneous pregnancies. Among pregnancies resulting from assisted reproduction techniques, the incidence is greater, ranging from 1 to 100 to 1 to 3,900. Risk factors Risk factors for a stereotopic pregnancy are divided into two categories. Number one, the most important risk factor for a stereotopic pregnancy is assisted reproductive techniques. Involving induction of ovulation and the risk is exacerbated by the number of embryos transferred. Number two, tubal pathologies, infection, tubal surgery, previous ectopic pregnancy, sterilization are the single most crucial risk factor for a heterotopic pregnancy. Other factors are exogenous hormones, ovarian factors, zygote abnormalities, endometriosis, unilateral salpingectomy, and pelvic abnormalities. Diagnosis An early and accurate diagnosis of a heterotopic pregnancy is difficult and challenging because the presence of an intrauterine pregnancy often leads to the mistaken exclusion of a concomitant ectopic pregnancy. In addition, an ectopic pregnancy may also be missed or misdiagnosed as a hemorrhagic corpus luteum cyst. The clinical presentations of heterotopic pregnancy are variable and not specific. Four common presenting signs and symptoms were defined. Abdominal pain, adnexial mass, peritoneal irritation, and an enlarged uterus. Some patients have mild symptoms mimicking other early pregnant complications, such as lower abdominal pain or vaginal bleeding, while about 50% heterotopic pregnant patients can be totally asymptomatic. If the ectopic pregnancy has ruptured, the patient may present in an emergent and life-threatening condition with severe abdominal pain, rebound tenderness, hypovolemic shock, and at risk of loss of life. Therefore, the early and accurate diagnosis of heterotopic pregnancy is critical. Human beta-chorionic gonadotropin levels can't establish the diagnosis of heterotopic pregnancy. Similarly, serial beta-human chorionic gonadotropin measurements are not variable for predicting the progress of ectopic pregnancy due to the coexistence of the intrauterine pregnancy. Transvaginal sonographic examination plays an important role in the diagnosis of heterotopic pregnancy. The typical image of a heterotopic pregnancy is the presence of an intrauterine gestation sac coexisting with an ectopic pregnancy containing an embryo or a yolk sac. The most common ectopic site is the fallopian tube, both in spontaneous and assisted reproductive techniques heterotopic pregnancies. Cervix, ovaries, pelvis, and abdomen are much rarer sites. It is estimated that about 58% to 73% of cases of heterotopic pregnancy are not confirmed before surgery. To prevent unwanted complications of heterotopic pregnancy, an early transvaginal sonographic examination is recommended in early pregnancy, especially those patients with assisted reproductive techniques. If transvaginal ultrasound is indeterminate, 
MRI of the pelvis may be used to assist the diagnosis in such cases. Structures located in the adnexal region that are similar to the gestational sac or even cystic formations may be identified on MRI. Differential diagnosis The main symptoms of teletopic pregnancy are abdominal pain, adnexal mass, peritoneal irritation, and enlarged uterus, which can mimic other gynecological causes such as miscarriage, intrauterine pregnancy with hemorrhagic corpus luteum, and adnexal torsion, and the non-gynecological ones such as appendicitis, cholecystitis, bowel obstruction. The most important different diagnosis of a teleotopic pregnancy is to distinguish a tubal ectopic pregnancy from a hemorrhagic corpus luteum cyst. The most sensitive and specific ultrasonographic image for unruptured tubal ectopic pregnancies is tubal ring sign, that is an adnexial mass with a concentric echogenic rim of tissue surrounding a hypochoic empty center. And I will make a separate video to compare them, inshallah. However, even with transvaginal sonography, the adnexial sac can be mistaken for a hemorrhagic corpus luteum or ovarian cyst, especially in hyperstimulated ovaries. Therefore, in patients with a documented intrauterine pregnancy, conceived via assisted reproductive technologies who present with persistent pain and free fluid in the pelvis, a diligent search for a concomitant ectopic pregnancy should be performed.